I truly just love it when I hear from y'all uh, out there because I don't near about think I have all the answers because I don't. Uh, so I just love hearing something that I've never heard of before. And that's the case with this uh, text that I got from Richie Gibbons. And uh, just a general inquiry. I recently found a recipe I wanted to share with you. It's a recipe for a stabilized whipped cream. So, have you ever made a cake that called for uh, just sweetened whipped cream for the frosting? Well, if you have, you know that you have to keep the cake in the refrigerator, right? Uh, because of the fresh cream and it, cause it just has sugar in it and that's it. So by adding these other ingredients, you're gonna stabilize that whipped cream and you can leave that cake on a counter just like you would like my carrot cake that's on the counter right now. So stabilized whipped cream. Uh, I have found that this version tends not to fall as easy and would be great for those recipes that may not be eaten in one sitting, which is great. I love that, Richie. Uh, so it's four ounces of cream cheese that's been softened for at least an hour at room temperature, a third of a cup of powdered sugar, one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, and one cup of heavy cream. So Richie tells us to whip the whipped cream. And let's see what they say to beat the cream cheese with the powdered sugar and vanilla. one teaspoon and a half a teaspoon. And our confectionery sugar. So now we're just gonna beat that until it's smooth and creamy-like. I'm so glad to know this trick. I can't wait to taste it. You know, one of my favorite frostings, icings, is cream cheese icing. So, this is just a great, great tip, Richie. And I so appreciate you sharing it with me so that I could, in turn, share it with all my friends out there. So, Richie says, beat the cream cheese with the powdered sugar and vanilla until soft and creamy, and then transfer to a small bowl. In the mixing bowl, and you don't even have to clean it up, beat the heavy whipping cream just until soft peaks form. You'll want them to collapse, not stand up. Because I'm used to beating whipping cream until it uh, stands on its own, so I'll have to watch myself there. Add the cream cheese by distributing it in thirds around the mixing bowl, and then beat until stiff peaks are formed. Store, store in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. Okay, so I'm going to sling that off, and uh, rather than transferring that to another bowl, I'm just going to get another bowl out and I'm gonna beat my whipped cream until it collapses <laughs> when I <laughs> you know you know what I'm trying to say when I dollop it up I just want to make sure that it doesn't stand in stiff peaks but 
kind of just folds back into itself. Okay, so here goes. When you're whipping cream, you have to start out kind of slow because it's really just the consistency of milk. But after it starts tightening up a little bit, then you can you can go for it. Then. All right, let's see if that collapses. I would say that collapses, but y'all, wouldn't you say, think that's about ready, Eddie? Yeah. All right, so Richie said to uh, distribute it into thirds around the mixing bowl. I may have to do it in fourths, but I don't think that's an issue. And now Richie said just beat it until stiff peaks form. I think it's there. What do you think, Eddie? Yeah, that looks great. That looks like stiff peaks to me, doesn't it to you? Like buttercream ice. Yes. So let's give it the taste test. Richie, that is so good. And you best believe when I make my next little icebox coconut cake that you have to keep in the refrigerator because it's got that frozen topping or just plain old fresh whipped cream on it. I'm going to be using this recipe for that icing. And in place of the vanilla flavoring, I'll be using a coconut flavoring for the coconut cake. Thank you so much. Uh, so that is definitely stabilized whipped cream. Thank you, Richie. I appreciate it and love you for it. <laughs> love and best dishes to all of y'all. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.